Okay, so if I'm on my, uh, the question is, if I'm on my spiritual journey and children are asking me how to help them, how do I deal with that? Well, if you are on your way to, to beingness, to enlightenment, then um, how do you, well, if I had children, um, I would deal with them in, uh, so basically the, it's better, you know, the, the if I really love these children, then I want to disappear. And I want all my ego neuroses around them. And even the idea that there's a me that's looking after them to disappear. So how do I do that? Well, uh, I have to dis I have to disappear the me and I have to disappear the them. Um, so like uh, if like I can cancel my belief that I need to look after them. I'm an infinite being. I can cancel my, my belief that they need to be looked after by me. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind because you you, you want you uh, it's better if you if you're in if you've got you you're getting towards those estates of the mystical of the pure beingness where everything all life actually prospers in the in the in if you're around someone who's in the beingness your life will prosper so trust that is far more powerful for children than you being in the head or in your stuff the idea that a parent is a belief system, like if I'm in my head telling them what to do, then that would be good for them. Cancel that idea. I cancel my belief I have to be in my head looking after them and giving them advice. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. If they tell you they have a problem, look, uh, mum, I haven't got enough money. I don't know what to do. I don't know what job to get. Well, cancel your belief that you need to tell them what anything. Cancel your belief that they have a problem with money. They, didn't, they need to do anything around it. So you're cancelling your beliefs, you're cancelling the idea, you see, because it's the infinite in you that will prosper your life and it's the infinite in them when they connect to it that will prosper their lives. It's not you in your head teaching them to be in their head. So, so that's the cancellations, just cancel everything. Um, if, you, if you're afraid that they're in trouble or they need you, cancel those ideas they don't need you they need know you uh, they they need the infinite silence they don't need you being in your head looking after them they'll prosper far more um so uh that's from the cancelling beliefs um feel the feelings if you've got heavy feelings in your body around kids like fear or you have to be there to save them or dependency like you need them because you feel lonely without them then just uh, rather than act out on those or phone them when you're feeling lonely or angry or whatever, just allow those feelings just to be and, and to pass away because the, those are ego feelings yeah, and, and they're not really helpful for your kids. And then the self-inquiry. So you're trying to, every time you're around your kids, just try and be the observer. It's, I think it's okay, even if you seem a bit stupid and you don't respond straight away. If they ask you something, okay, what do they say, like, uh, mum, what should I choose this university or should I choose that university? Can you give me an answer? What, what's your What's your view? Well, then I'd say to them something like, okay, I'll I'll get back to you next week, and then I'd just keep observing, like, you know, oh, I, I think they should choose that is this, that university. Well. Who thinks they should choose that uh, university? Well, there's no one who thinks they should choose that university. So you're in the observer of it. What does the observer think of what? It doesn't matter. Uh, what about, uh, oh my God, if I don't give them the advice, they'll think I'm not I'm a bad mother. Well, who thinks I'm a bad mother? What's observing that? And, and that will disappear it. So as you keep disappearing all this stuff about you having to give them an answer, and then at the end of the week, uh, when they when there's nothing there in you uh, and they say hey mum did you think about uh, which university I have to go just um, just let whatever comes out of your mouth be said it'll be coming from more in a place from the infinite even if no answer comes out you'll help them a lot because um, you have now transcended uh, that it will help trust that that silence will help them and you even if they don't get the answer they want out of you uh, or they think you're stupid. Uh, I'm. I feel confident that both you and the child will have benefited a lot by just disappearing that. Because um, 
problems get resolved, the idea is that problems get resolved by thinking and the life gets supported by thinking. But actually, life is supported by the infinite. You know, when someone's in the beingness, miracles happen for the highest good. What the ego thinks is the highest good is usually not the highest good. Okay, I'll stop there. <laughs>